So don't be surprised if you see some nickels, maybe some quarters starting to move in there to parts of uh, western San Saba County. All of this activity is moving off to the east, so I do expect thunderstorm chances to go up here as we get later on into the morning, including the I-35 corridor. Future track shows this activity moving through. Here we are at 9 o'clock. We get into that 10 to 11 o'clock time frame is closer to I-35. I think future track is a bit slow, so 10, 9 to 10 for the I-35 corridor, and we'll continue to watch this stuff move through. Now, I don't expect the same threats as last night, but some of that coin size hail, maybe up to the size of half dollars, some gusty winds possible with that. What we'll have to watch out for is either if it lingers into the afternoon or if it clears out fast enough that we can destabilize the atmosphere and get more thunderstorms firing this afternoon. If anything, you get firing this afternoon, those will turn into those supercell thunderstorms, which carry the same type of threats that we saw last night. So could see two rounds of thunderstorms today. It's the afternoon round we'll have to watch out for. Severe storm potential later today. I've placed most of Central Texas north of Highway 14, so the northern half of Central Texas under this isolated category. The energy is there for hail up to the size of hen eggs. Winds to 65 miles per hour and even an isolated tornado, though I don't expect the same coverage as what we saw last night. You can see those storms firing here on the other round of future track, which does show a little bit more activity. We'll have to see how it goes through the afternoon. Afternoon. What we're watching, though, is this dry line out to the west. As long as that's there, we have the potential to see thunderstorms in the afternoon. That'll happen both Friday and then Saturday. It's still throwing out a few thunderstorms. Those would be those supercell thunderstorms we'll have to watch for. Maybe even some isolated thunderstorms Sunday and Memorial Day before a cold front can pull through, and that should lower the thunderstorm or lower the severe weather chance though thunderstorm chances may still linger. Central Texas 10 day forecast looking like this 89 today, a 50% chance of storms. Again, watching them in the afternoon, 30% chance Friday, little isolated storm chances through Memorial Day, and then we cool off into the 80s behind that front next week. And the Brazos Valley, more of the same 90s here through the weekend, 80s next week.